So, today in this video we're we'll doing some testing with the 62A Passport mounts. Um, I guess they clarify these uh, mounts as their street mounts. And um, I think now I've been probably daily in them for about, give or take, three months. I think, or you could just look from what I posted in my last video. It was definitely three months or less. To watch so if you haven't watched it yet I'll post a link in the description down below of the Hasbro mounts installed but today we'll be just getting on reviewing them because there's not a, a, that many reviews out right now on um, these mounts I guess the full set for the H gens so today I'm here to give you guys a full review on how I think these mounts hold up in my car and how I like the 62 mounts uh, 62 A mounts so Without further ado, let's just get right into this review and uh, let's talk more about these mounts. I'm gonna start with the place that everywhere uh, everyone wants to know. The, do these mounts shake a lot? So, I got the 62A uh, mounts. Everyone usually goes for the 70A. These mounts in my car, when I first put them in, they didn't shake really as much. I did notice a little bit of shake, shaking. Should be with 
back after doing some testing. My thoughts are the 62A mounts are great for what I'm doing. Um, for the power I'm making, everything, like I said. They're, I wouldn't say affordable in the sense of uh, if you just wanted to go out and blow some money on some mounts, but honestly, the Hasport mounts, in my opinion, are great just because I heard if something goes wrong with certain aspects of the mount, they are lifetime warranty uh, that they have on them. Um, overall, they drive great, they feel great, they deliver the power great. Um, and Hasport, in my like, opinion, just look like, downright bad. Like, they just fucking. They're, they're, their stuff just looks nice, so I went with Hasbro. I know there's a lot of other mount companies out there. I haven't done the research on some of the other companies on what they provide in terms of lifetime warranty or stuff like that. But like I said, I went with Hasbro. I honestly think they're a great mount to go with. And um, would I do it again if I had another build? Yes, I would. The drivability of these mounts are great daily driving mounts. As I said, at a 62A platform. Um, and like, there's nothing much else I can really say about these mounts because they honestly are just great. Um, and that's really it. If you guys have any other comments down below, don't be shy to leave them. I usually reply to all my comments. So any comments, questions, just leave them down below. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos because there's a lot more to come before the hopefully the season is done. So like I said, don't be shy to tune in. Because I'll be here making a whole bunch more videos for you guys to watch. And uh, just let me know, like as I said, what you guys want to see. Because I'll make a video on it.